Hi, what you're looking at is an image of the sun being projected by a pair of binoculars. The image should be sufficient to see the transit of Venus next Tuesday. In fact, by the strangest coincidence, a, a small gnat has flown onto the image of the sun here, and uh, it's just about the same size as you might expect, expect to see the shadow of Venus across the sun. Uh, oh yes, I've already thought of that. The uh, gnat's name is Venus, and uh, if we can get her to move, we'll be able to see a transit of Venus right here, uh, get a sneak preview. But in the meantime, let me show you how I've put this together. It is uh, every bit as simple as uh, I suggest. All you need is a pair of binoculars and a, uh, and a sheet of paper. You take the binoculars, put a lens cap or something over one side, point the large end up toward the sun, and a piece of paper behind it, and uh, then look at the sh looking at the shadow to make the shadow as small as possible. Ah, here it comes, is our image of the sun. Uh, let me put that down for a second, try to get a little more steady. There we go again, using the method of, uh, of dinking around. There we go. Uh, we find the image of the sun. All that remains then is to take the, uh, the focus of the binoculars and uh, focus it into a nice sharp image uh, so that you can uh, see the uh, image of Venus on there as long as your binocular focus is not stuck. Let me try that again. There we go. So there we go. Nice sharp image uh, uh, focused in and uh, a few of Venus's uh, uh, sisters on the paper. Okay, that's, uh, as I say, all there is to it. Uh, the um, downside is that unless your hands are a whole lot more steady than mine, uh, you can see there's quite a bit of jitter. Uh, you can make a larger image, if you like, simply by moving the binoculars farther from the piece of paper. Um, the bad news is that that increases the amount of jitter as well. So, let me take you over and show you uh, some of the uh, <coughs> engineering modifications I've made to try and make this a little more convenient to use. Uh, here we are back at the observatory again and looking at this uh, uh, rather sophisticated piece of, uh, of modern engineering. Uh, the materials you'll need are first of all a piece of uh, cardboard and the only purpose of that really is to create a large shadow around the box so that the image is a little easier to see. Uh, I note the image has kind of creeped off a little bit and now the nice thing about the um, about using the tripod is that it just takes some minor adjustments to bring it back in. It's very uh, quick, smooth, and, and easy to do. The sun is going to move about one diameter every two minutes, and so you will have to, uh, to chase it around a bit. So let me um, remove the, uh, the light shield here. You notice it's uh, not real critical. Uh, you're not graded on neatness here. It doesn't even matter if you happen to uh, cover up the lens of the um, binoculars a little bit. Uh, that won't affect the quality of the image at all, except to make it a little bit dimmer. So let me take off our, our light shield. And, uh, and here, as advertised, then, is the, uh, the rest of the equipment. Uh, just a pair of binoculars and uh, taped onto this, uh, this tripod. Uh, being a big fan of Howard Wallowitz, I uh, use only the, uh, the best engineering materials, uh, in, in particular uh, duct tape in, in this case. So, uh, say, that's all there is to it. If we uh, look back down in the box, we could see the, uh, see the image, but I've got the binoculars so far from the paper now that uh, it's not going to be very bright and uh, hence the need for the light shield. Uh, here we go uh, back again uh, on the video. I suspect you'll just barely be able to see that and uh, and you can now see why I like to use the, uh, the light shield. But again, really that's all there is to it. Uh, I hope that you will uh, get a chance to look at the transit of Venus uh, either at one of your local observatories or watch it on the internet or if you're a do-it-yourselfer like me, uh, and, uh, pulling up a uh, backyard uh, binoculars. Take care.